Hi, Russ Letterman here from Dankmeyer Optical. Um, <clears throat> here we have a unit that I just put together, Binotron 27, with a power switch and the filter switch option. Um, in this particular case, this gentleman is going to want to use a Coronado Hydrogen Alpha system. So what he's going to need to do is take a screwdriver, back this screw out, and the screw on the underside, and this whole unit here, from here up, will slip out and undock from the filter switch. He's going to be left with the Binotron 27, the power switch, and threaded into the power switch is something called a dovetail connector. Right now it's mating to the female receptacle. That dovetail connector is threaded with the same threads as the bottom of our bino viewer. So he's going to take the one and a quarter inch nose piece here that we that we have all wrapped up and ready to go, and he's going to thread it into the dovetail connector, and that will allow him to insert the whole unit into the one and a quarter inch Coronado blocking filter. On the opposite side of that blocking filter is the one and a quarter inch tube that slides into the Coronado scope. Well, here's our one and a quarter inch part S cell. And uh, you can see the coating, and you can see that little drop of glue that I've used to keep that retaining ring in. That's how the lens is held in. That will dry clear, and you won't even see it. And um, these threads here are one and a quarter inch. They will thread into the telescope side of the blocking filter diagonal. That will move the focus through the blocking filter diagonal and through the entire bino viewer. Then you can use your power switches. With the arms out, you'll just be using that, that one and a quarter inch lens. That'll create about a 2.5x factor with the low power logo side arm in. And that's down here, kind of hard to see, but there's a logo in there. Uh, when you push that arm in, it'll reduce the power to about a 1.3x. And the opposite arm will increase that power to about a, a close to a 3x factor. So. Uh, that's how you remove the power switch system.